day it is the 5th of december and i've got rainy day pampering vlogmas day three of zoe's on i was watching some of it last night i'm uploading my what's it called stocking fillers on the private i haven't edited the last bit because i fell asleep so i've just uploaded it because i wanted it to go up at four which is fine um but i'm gonna do some natural makeup today because obviously i know i've got work seven one um but i'm gonna take my powder with me um and a bit of concealer for when i finish work because i just want to wear a bit of makeup i've got a spot here not the best but hey ho and then when i come home today i'm going to edit my festive vlog on my phone and then i'm going to start editing footage from my ipad and also i've just realized i forgot i didn't charge my battery for this camera overnight like a melon um so my mum's gonna remember my camera with her when she comes to get me from work we've arrived back to clarendon yep grandma are you excited to get your wreath absolutely it's so festive but there's a new entrance we can't go in that way now we've got to go in through the other way it's a one-way system got my mask i'm honestly so excited and it's not as long there's no queue or anything um because we have family that lives in yorkshire and she said her garden center has been absolutely swamped so yeah i'm so excited have a look at the christmas decks maybe get some food yeah on a level of one to ten how excited are you to be at clandon park again very 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 excited <laughs> Grandma, on a level of 1 to 10, how excited are you to be at Clandon? 11. There we go. Shows all. 21. Fine, 25. <laughs> Sanitation. Yes. Oh, God, my mask nearly flew off. Grandma's favourite section. Getting the wreath sorted. It smells amazing. <gasps> Mum, look at that. Look. The wreaths are handcrafted. Grandma's having a look. <laughs> oh. Which one are you going for? Oh, that's nice. If you want to get a burgundy ribbon, I'm sure that that's quite pretty. I like the red one with the gold. That's nice, isn't it? I like that one. Some amazing Christmas trees. I know. The smell. It smells so good. Look! Can you not see a thing, though? No, nope. <laughs> can't see a thing. Now, one minute. Grandma, you look like you've got a bird's beak with that mask. It's lovely. You look like you're a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be back, Mum. Because we we live together. I five. Hey. I should have bet money on it. My grandma is buying a pot. I'll show you in a minute. But honestly, garden centres one of my favorite thing i'm like an older person in the young person's body and the best thing is becca one of my really good friends you would have seen that festive vlog loves garden centers too so i'm really excited then we're going to go to um one called wisley which is near us um, and we're going to have a bit of an explore which is going to be nice when i'm off for five days but um oh i'm really excited the restaurant's not too busy so we're going to have some lunch um and i've got some sliced dried oranges because if you watch that festive vlog you would have seen so i see the dried orange wreaths at the garden center we went to um and yeah so i've got some cinnamon sticks as well but they're only 99 p i think oh it's a bit fresh air and there's no one around us Whew. um but yeah that's the pot my grandma's getting she has quite a few of these in her garden some beautiful flowers and water features So mum and grandma's toasted tea cakes have arrived. I'm gonna get a sausage fat, but I love I love the plates, I love the speckled effect. So yeah, there's grandma's, there's mum's, and I'm gonna have a um, sausage fat and then we can have some cake afterwards. This is the hot chocolate, how epic does that look? You do realise you'll be taking a picture of for Instagram with me with this. You're back to being my David Bailey, Mum. I'm not allowed to have my tea cake. You are allowed to have your tea cake, but I do want. That's all right. But I do want a picture with my hot chocolate. I do. I love this, like the dinner service they've got. So this is how they've decorated it. It's really cute. Oh dear. So yeah some biscuits to take home and I've got my coke which we're finishing and then we're gonna go and collect the wreath aren't we 
We're going to have a look at the. So we're going to have a look around the shop yeah, and then we're going to go yeah, yeah. and use the pictures. Hopefully. You can you take some pictures of me? Grandma, I like your jumper. We're both wearing roll necks. Oh, your boots. Grandma, we're both in like roll necks. I know, I know. What do you think? I think it's nice, look. Okay. <laughs> More wine candle and a little robin decoration. These are so cute. Look at these. Oh, garden centers are the, the best. But I love robins. These are gorgeous, like a more modern tree. They look like bubbles. Gorgeous, oh look at these. And the little baubles. Oh. Gorgeous. These are really cute. But we're coming back near me next week, my me and mum, because we're going to come by train. So I'm not going to go too crazy. Such gorgeous baubles. Pretty. Oh, and they do Christmas pudding ones as well. It's meant to sound horrible, yeah, but these are gorgeous. Look at that. Is that one down there? Yeah. I oh, know. That's creepy, but look how cute these oh. are. Look, there's a small one up here. Good. Oh, that's giving me anxiety. Uh, that's eight pounds. I might get one. Oh, look. Oh, Mum, I like that one. Yeah, this is only eight. I'm thinking for my room. It's heavy. Grandma, do you like your wreath? I love it. It's different colour theme to normal. Normally you get like red and gold. I know, but I think it's nice to have a bit of different. Yeah. And pink. <laughs> yeah. See, that's nice. It's I think it's I like cute. That. And then Grandma's got this. So they've got three packs of these. Yeah. And then the big round ones. That's it, yeah. I think. Lantern. If anyone wanted to know what my favourite part of Christmas is, garden centres that look like this. Oh. Brilliant. So we arrived at Clandon just nearly two o'clock, I think, maybe just a bit before. Um, and it's now nearly four o'clock. So we've been, only been here like a couple of hours, but it feels so much longer. It's so gorgeous. And they knew I was filming for um, YouTube and Instagram as well, because I've tagged them on my story. But if anyone from Clandon is watching this, doubt it if you are. Thank you so much for the experience. It was so good. It's put me into even more festive mode, if that's even possible. Um, and yeah, it's just made us feel so much better. My grandma's got her wreath. She's picked up some bits. I've picked up some bits. And it's just, oh, ah, so exciting. Um, the smell of the Christmas trees. My mum took some pictures for me for Instagram. Um, the smell of the Christmas trees, the wreaths, just absolutely insane. And the customer service and the way they had themselves organised 
was incredible and they really made us feel welcome and the waitresses and that at the cafe were really really nice as well the food was amazing i've missed it i had a sausage bap and a victoria's sandwich well victoria's sponge and it was so good um so yeah um but i'm really happy with everything that i got i might show you a couple of few bits now but i'll wait till i get home for everything else um but yeah mum very kindly got them for me and then i'm giving her the money back on when i get paid look how cute it was and it was only eight pounds my mum got one with dang the dangly legs so you sit it on the shelf They're just packing everything into the boot but i have connected my phone to the car so i can where you can listen to our favorite christmas music like when we were putting up the christmas tree um i felt so confident vlogging out maybe it's the luck of this camera maybe i'm just thinking you know what don't care let's hope this attitude carries on maybe it's just because it's christmas and i just feel so happy and content right now but i got a candle and it may be another mauled wine one because the primark one's so good but this one smells insane um but me and my mum might be popping back here next weekend once i've been paid are you happy grandma i am very happy you've got your wreath I have. you've got some christmas decorations I have. <laughs> and we're gonna listen to some christmas tunes Yay! Christmas with the Stanifords. What oh, more could you want, eh, Mum? Absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, glasses. Seatbelt. Love you, Grandma. Love you too. Oh, no. So, if you didn't know, obviously, Clandon Park House, which is one of the main features of, obviously, Clandon, um, burned down how many years ago now? Uh, 2015, oh, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Oh my lord, that's five years ago. My bag was still alive. Yeah. Oh yeah, my. That's been gone for four years. Yeah, in 2015. Oh my god, that's crazy. I didn't realise it'd been that long. But they have done so much amazing work and they're not giving up, which I think is amazing. So hopefully one day we can go back in. But we have got. Well, we've been in there, we've had to wear hard hats. Yeah, we had to wear hard. Oh yeah, I've got the pictures. Um, so you never know, we might be able to do that again. Um, but we are listening to some music. Christmas tunes. Absolutely. Feeling festive. Now all I need is a mince pie. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so. That's the new phones and stuff. We're at my grandma's. We're just gonna pop inside. I'm gonna show Lynn what I've got at a distance. Here's the bag of stuff. I just feel really festive and Christmassy. Oh, there you go. I feel really festive and Christmassy, and I'm just feeling very blessed right now. So, this is Grandma's lantern that she bought. It was how much? 32? 32, yeah. 32 pounds. Look how gorgeous it is. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm literally lying on the carpet on my stomach to try and get the best angle and make sure it's focused. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty. They're going back tomorrow to get compost, but I'm working and to have a final look at bits. But my total of stuff was how much did we say? 34, Mum? Yeah. So for this one item, I got a bunch. So, but this is gorgeous. If I could, I definitely would have got one of those for my room because it's battery operated, not a plug in. So that'd be perfect for me. So you never know. I might treat myself one day to a fancy no, really garden centre ornament. So we're about to leave my grandma's. Um, I've got my bag of goodies. Honestly, I could not feel more festive if I tried. Did you have a good day, Mum? I did. A lovely day, thank you. Super festive. Super festive. It'll be even better if I can actually find a parking space when we get home. That could be quite. A, that's probably the that's one thing Mum hasn't missed about having a car. It's finding a parking space. But hey ho! But Mum's driving me to work again tomorrow. But hopefully, I won't be late. <laughs> Hopefully I'll know the hell. It's going to take a while for me to get used to that. Yeah, but it's good. But I've only got the car for a couple of days. So exactly. Oh, no. I'm going to... Have you had a good day? I've had a lovely day. Thank you, darling. Good. It's been super festive. Yeah, got nice. lots of nice bits. I've just showed Grandma. So, hmm. yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. That's spot. I need to pop that. Oh right. God. <laughs> right. Lovely. Thank you, Grandma, for having us. Thanks, Mum, for the travel. There and back, and back home. Wow, well, as I say, I thought I was. I wanted well, to get a car, you. so I got a car. There I we go. go. Yeah, okay. Well. Oh, so, so we're going home, and as I said, it's been such a good day. I'm so happy, and I'm going to edit my only festive vlog on my phone. But I need to get Matt to show me how to disconnect my iPad to my phone because my everything I put on my iPad goes on my camera roll on my phone, which is defeats the purpose, really. <laughs> Which 
which defeats the purpose of having a camera. So I just need to show me how to disconnect it because I connected it through my iPad, so it shouldn't be too hard. I wouldn't have thought. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. I'll get him to sort it tomorrow for me. Um, but yeah, it's been such a good day, and I hope you have loved it because it's just been so super festive. I'm home, and this spot is really coming to play, but. I want to show you the bits I got because I'm so excited. Um, I spent £34, which I don't think for what I got is that bad. Um, so the first thing I've got, as I showed you in the car, is this really cute Chris Mouse. Fall in love with this charming little fellow part of the collectible Gonk Gang. That's quite cute. Um, and it was only £8. And that's what he looks like. So cute and he's really heavy and he's just, oh, love it. He is just adorable. Um, and then I got a candle. Now, whenever I go to garden centres and I see the candle section at Christmas, it just reminds me of Zoe and Mark's vlogs. And this is mulled wine. I'm just addicted to the smell. It literally smells like Christmas. Um, bear in mind that um, mouse was £8. This was £9. Who knows? Um, this candle smells so good and I may be going back next weekend, either with mum or someone from my support bubble because oh i need more candles because even if i don't get through all of them before christmas which is most likely going to be the case i can still smell christmas in my room when i've got like a christmas longing and i just in the new year and i just feel like crap so yeah i got that candle i also got when we were looking at the wreaths some cinnamon sticks and some sliced oranges they're dried they were 99p each I got some cute little Santa chocolates for when I'm editing because I thought they were well cute. Um, and then the rest are decorations. So I got this really cute hanging decoration and they bubble wrapped everything, which I think is really good. Um, and this is five pounds and it looks, it's basically supposed to be like a gingerbread. There we go. It's got a little Robin on it. Robin, as if you didn't know, is one of the biggest sort of like signs to us as a family we love robins and also they were my granddad's favorite bird and whenever i see a robin i just think of him so i didn't actually realize i did a robin on until i bought it but i think that's really cute and that was five pounds that's gonna go on my little tree and then we all got one of these and um, it's like um porcelain or it's like china kind of hand crafted and painted robin and like i'm sorry but it's just so cute like it's beautiful and that was only £2.50 of a ceramic robin decoration and we all got one um so my grandma's gonna hang it up my mum's got one for our christmas tree in the living room and i got one for my room because so i was gonna get two and i was like no one will be enough and if i go back i'll get another one as a sign literally um and then i got a snow globe because i love snow globes and this was really cute and where i've got a really crappy one on my bedside cabinet from the pound shop i'm gonna get rid of it and I'm going to replace it with this one because it was £5. And it's... I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. And it's £5 and I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, that's going to replace my really crappy one. Um, so that's everything I got from Clandon. Now onto the advent calendar. Let's do the beauty ones. So... Real Techniques, day five. Always oh, a big one. Hang on. <laughs> oh. What's this then? Yeah, blotting papers. That's cute. And I actually do, I can get quite oily. So there we go. And then they're in there. So that's really cute. I'm really excited to try them. The Revolution one. I think I know what day number 25 is, just on the base of the size of the box and the fact that, you know, oh, number five came right at me. It's in gold packaging. I'm just gonna rip this off because it really does my head in. Thank you very much. Oh, that's not what I thought it was gonna be. What is it? Oh, it's an eyeliner. I wanna learn how to do eyeliner properly so that's really cool definitely gonna be keeping that and giving it a go cool let me know as i said if you've got this advent calendar or either the two beauty advent calendars i've got 
let me know what you think of them or if you haven't got these ones and you've got other ones let me know what you think because next year and i'm already thinking about next year which is ridiculous i know but next year i'm thinking i might treat myself to like the revolution one again because i feel like that's gonna be a yearly tradition for me and then maybe like the look fantastic one clandon was amazing as soon as we saw it i just felt I don't know, I felt some kind of weird kind of peace. It was so lovely. It wasn't anywhere near as busy as we thought it was going to be. We didn't have to queue. Um, it wasn't stressful until near the end because obviously where they've had to cut place bit sections off and make things a bit slimmer and smaller. The Christmas section wasn't as big this year, I don't think, but they absolutely nailed it with some of the bits and pieces though. Um, like Poundland can never compare to Clandon when it comes to Christmas, put it that way. Um, but the staff were so lovely, so friendly. The restaurant was amazing. The food, as I said, was just second to none. So we had an amazing time. Now, my grandma and mum are going back tomorrow because my grandma needs to get some compost for her plants. Um, and she needs to get some other little bits and pieces. Obviously, I'm working a 12-hour shift tomorrow, so I can't go. But um, thankfully, I was able to finish at one today so I could go this afternoon, which was great. So, yeah been a really good day so i'm just quickly on my laptop because i'm going to switch over so i can start editing on my ipad um but yeah i'm going to start watching because i'm nearly finished so is vlogmas because i'm staying up today like part of me was thinking oh maybe sh i should like skip a few days oh my camera's falling a bit maybe i should just skip a few days but i was like no like not skip a few days but like wait so i'm not i've got quite a few to watch in one go but i'm like no it's fine i'll keep on top of them because then that means then i can carry on with I don't have vlogmas is overtaking my life um but yeah i'm gonna start editing and putting vlogs together so i know exactly how many festive vlogs i've got i'm all cozy i've got a bottle of coke mum's making spaghetti bolognese aren't you mum i've got a bit now um and i'm gonna tidy my room in a bit but yeah. right now i just want to chill sort out my editing and i just feel really really content so i've got my favorite dinner absolutely love this and i'm watching saffron's vlog love her channel also sunday the 6th and mum is very kindly taking me to work again um but we don't have the hire a car again now till whenever um probably another year. yeah probably another year due to covid um but it's been such a lovely weekend even though i've been working and i'm working again today and then matt's picking me up at seven um so yeah Oh, it's been so nice to not have to get up early at home. I say not have to get up early at home. Matt's mum normally takes me to work if I'm at home. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It's been lovely. Clanton's been very festive. But the festive content won't be stopping now. Because I've got quite a few COVID safe plans within my support bubble so it's all good um but i need to edit my festive vlog on my phone there you go oh jesus christ <laughs> oh, um oh, festive man. vlog on my phone can you turn it off a minute because i <laughs> I didn't want Rob to get a cost check when he put the car back together. <laughs> um, so basically, I have to edit my festive vlog on my phone, and then I've got three on my iPad. So we've got good enough festive content, and there's loads more coming. Oh, Focus. Let's get a move on. But I'm not actually going to be late for work today, so let's well, go. Wait, wait. So it is Sunday, the sixth of December. I want to say. Let me check my phone. Yeah. 6th of December and tomorrow on the 7th I'm getting my flu vaccine which is going to be fun but I've got the morning off work which means I can have a lie in it's 20 to 11 and I've just had my dinner which is disgusting like I shouldn't have had it this late but hey ho I needed a couple of hours to myself just to chill and unwind which is what I did I've opened my chocolate advent calendars however I've got my beauty ones to open so I'm going to open them on camera for you in a minute I'm really really happy because my first festive vlog has gone up today it is the 7th of December and I have got another festive vlog up on private, which is a really short one, but it's still, it's kind of festive, kind of not, but it's like Matt's come back to my channel. Um, and then I'm editing my third festive vlog, which is where I see Becca and we go to the garden centre. And I'm just really, really happy about it because I'm really getting it done and the quality is insane and I'm so happy with it. So, yeah. But I have the morning off work, but I'm getting my flu vaccine today, um, which is going to be interesting. So I don't like needles, but I know I need to get it done. So that should be our like you know how i'm feeling later 
um, so I'm doing an afternoon shift and then I've got tomorrow off and tomorrow I'm going to be focusing on wrapping my swap boxes and presents for people that I'm going to be seeing soon-ish on my five days off. So i mm, dear. I probably look a little bit crazy because I've got my fluffy headband on and I've done my brows and mascara because quite frankly I just want to feel a bit more with it. I'm about to get my Uber. <clears throat> my lord, my voice. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to be getting my flu vaccine today as I said. But I'm going to quickly just organise myself, get dressed ready for work and then get my Uber and then go. And then I'll be back tonight and I'll be doing my advent calendars this evening. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair up and we're going to go. The grind never stops. I've missed out a couple of days of advent so I'm gonna open up my advent calendar to you guys and I've also got myself some Pringles from the shop and a ready meal because I've been at work for the last like I did a six hour shift which doesn't sound a long time but trust me I'm shattered I've got a box here now I'm not too sure who it's from I think it might be from Bethany and I've also received Malika swap which is up on my bed which I'm super excited about and I'm gonna film a unboxing of it tomorrow um so yeah i'm super super excited i know it's not kimberly or courtney swap that we've done because she well both of them said they haven't sent it yet so we'll see what's in there it might be from bethany the other stuff i bought from her but so i've got the seventh is there ah this is a sixth oh it's a purple sponge See if I can. Is it gonna focus? I think that's focused. I think so. I've only ever had this orange sponge from Real Techniques, so. Do you open it? Ah. Oh, blimey, it's a really big one. Oh my. Oh. It's the makeup removing cloth. Revolution advent calendar. Let's get opening. Do -do -do -do. Number eight is quite a big box. So, number six. Oh, it's a scrunchie. I love scrunchies, and that's a it feels like a really good one too. Very cute. And then number seven is in another starry box. I'm just gonna rip the box. Don't really care at this point. Oh, it's another lipstick. Oh, that's nice. It's in the shade Cupid. I don't know where you can see that, but that's the shade. So I don't actually know what's in it. So I think it's from Bethany, and I'm definitely gonna be reusing this box. I've been collecting cardboard boxes, I swear to you. Yeah, it's from Bethany. Oh, it's exciting. A lot of stuff in here. So let me just move my advent calendar and put the box there. Oh, it's so exciting. So I've got two of her eyelash duos um so she did and how cute are these like stocking filler ideas like she stopped taking orders for christmas now so any normal sort of um products that she sells you can still buy um but look i don't know how you can see that but yeah that's really cute and then in her other tray um to display her lashes so they're gonna be brilliant christmas gifts and then in here we've got this and I feel really bad cutting all the ribbon off because she's better than me. I can't even put this kind of ribbon on. What's in here? Oh, this is exciting. This is like a bunch of lip products and they're like pink and red themed. And I'm just very excited by this. This is obviously not for me, it's for a gift. But look, oh dear. Oh my. I don't know how well that's focusing. I'll try and do a clip. But that is really cute. She just did some, did some amazing bundles for Christmas. She absolutely smashed it, as always. I didn't have any doubts. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. And it's just supporting small businesses, do you know what I mean? Oh dear. Right, we've got another snowman box. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know I got a bigger box that I ended up putting Alex's little hamper of stuff in. This is perfect for like smaller gifts and stuff that I may give to people. Oh, this is the men's bundle. So this is gonna stay in its box. Um, she did men's bundles and this is obviously for Matt. So they've got, got some links in here. Lynx Africa and a comb and Vaseline and a NYX body wash, which can I just add, he loves NYX body washes. So 
and he's gonna be happy with that and some socks and some chocolate so thank you bethany you're an absolute babe and that was only a tenner which i think is insane and then we've got one more box in here which i will definitely be re-gift using it for re-gifting the crackers oh my god so these are custom crackers can i just add that she's made herself with some of her products in really cute and i've got five of these so i'm going to include some in swaps and then christmas gifts and stuff so that's really exciting oh my god ah and i've got some more bits arriving from her soon actually um like paid for on payday and then um she's sending one over so thank you bethany i'm so happy i've got everything i could ever wish to give to people for christmas thank you very much um but i've currently got zoe's vlogmas day six i think it is day six um and i'm gonna watch that i'm gonna tidy my room and i figured out how to time lapse on this camera thank you youtube you're amazing for everything searched it up and i figured it out so i'm really happy about that um and tomorrow i'll have the day off and i'm going to be sending back bethany's parcel which is over here the one that um was lost in the post and then got sent to me um and i'm sending that back to her um so she can resell it to people as like last minute bundles um and in case you were wondering britney's beauty box and i'm dropping everything i'm hopeless britney's beauty box i am giving as a christmas present which is going to be really cute that was the idea behind it anyway um and then this which is a pamper box that bethany was selling including a pair of lashes and stuff like that this is also going as a gift so i think i'm pretty done for christmas shopping to be fair i don't have a lot more to do because i was so stressed out but since i sorted out my cherry z box i've really sorted myself out and i have my flu vaccine um and i will be just to answer it if anyone's wondering i will be having the coronavirus vaccine i've got the email and i will be booking it in for next week so i've got quite a few days off so i'm not going to talk about it because it's a very controversial topic but yes i am having it so there we go um but yeah so now i'm going to sort out my room but i will give you a sneak peek to malika's box that she has given to me they are getting their boxes before anyone comes at me going oh you haven't sent their boxes yet that's because my payday goes at a very different time to everyone else's and you know malika's had a bit more like she's been busy but she's had a bit more time so obviously i've been working but this is the box and can I just add it's really heavy, so I'm really, really excited. Um, but she was a donut. Malika, if you're watching this, take note. She she goes in her videos, oh, this gift's for Lily, so I'm like skipping past. I'm like, you donut, don't say it's for me. Um, but yeah, I didn't see, so it's gonna be a complete surprise, but Malika, honestly, surprise, it's not your best suit, is it? Um, but yeah, so I'm really grateful and I'm really excited to film that video for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to edit on my iPad because I've got some editing to do. Because um, I've already got my second festive vlog ready for tomorrow. But I am going to be uploading them in the evening because I just feel where start, life's starting to get a, bit, a little bit back to normal. People are back to work and stuff like that. It's just better and for my channel and for everyone else if I upload my vlog my vlogmas, my festive vlogs. So I have watched Zoe's vlogmas um, and I am now watching Disney Plus. It won't stop, but yeah, I'm watching Disney Plus and I'm going to get my dinner um out of the fridge here it is co-op ham and mushroom tagliatelle um and i've still got my galane chocolates and i'm so excited about it i might drink myself some tomorrow um, and i have started this but um from matt's sister she gave me a massive bought me a massive bar of galaxy but i haven't finished it yet and i've still got my snacks in here from cherry z and i'll probably try them tomorrow as well I'll let you know the recommendations oh my god um but after i've had my dinner because i'm gonna bang it in the microwave i am then going to do my chocolate advent um my mum's got is it have you still got vicar and dibley on yeah it's the, this the new one Oh, Vicar of Dibley and Lockdown. Vicar Dibley. Yeah, Vicar of Dibley, which used to be one of our favourite shows ever, but unfortunately quite a few of the actors and actresses have passed away, which obviously comes with life, but one of them was only like 36, which is crazy. Um, but it used to be one of our favourite things because Dawn French is one of my favourite actresses ever. So I'm going to christen this mug tomorrow because if you have watched my festive vlog with Becca, then you'll know I got this with her when we went to the garden centre. Um, I'm so lucky to have her in my support bubble. Um, but 
yeah, I'm gonna christen this with a mug. With a mug? With a mug of tea tomorrow morning. So this is what my cover's looking like. I need to do a food shop when I get paid. Like, not majorly, just like snacks and bits. Um, so yeah, won't take me long. I'll probably go Tesco. Side note, it looks a lot, it tastes a lot better than it looks. Got my drink, watching Descendants. Definitely gonna watch the second one. But I'm gonna put it on my TV, because I've got Disney Plus on my TV. Um, so I'm gonna try and put it on my TV so I can use my iPad for editing.